Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is the build video for the lathe. I was going to do the milled build video first, but I'm still working on the mill, making more parts, etc. So I figured I'd just do the lathe video first, since it's honestly a pretty easy build. To begin with, making the base. It's really, really simple, just four pieces of wood. Here I have two pieces of 89 by 19 mm pine, 40 cm long, and two pieces of 42 by 30 mm pine one 18cm long and the other 25cm long. I lay out the pieces like this, and then use a 6mm rod as a spacer. You could just measure, but using a spacer like this makes it easy to get them square. I nailed my boards together, and I'm not sure why I did. I would definitely recommend using screws. With the base built, we are then going to build this assembly here. This will be the guide for all the other holes we need to drill. To begin with though, we need to put two brass threaded inserts into the lathe bed. These are 4mm outer diameter, 3mm inner diameter brass inserts. Put these in, and we can move on with attaching the two end supports. Use two M3 20mm bolts in each end. Take this and the headstock template, and lay them like so on the board. Line them up with the centre channel, with the gap in the wood, and once it is to your liking, clamp the whole setup down. Pilot hole with a 2mm bit through every hole in the piece. Next up, we're going to enlarge in these four holes to 5mm. The two of these that go through the support block will need to be enlarged into 10mm so a nut can go in on the other side. Next, get that assembly from before back but replace the drilling template with the headstock. Put an M4 bolt into this hole on both sides. Next, cut four lengths of 3 16th or 5mm threaded rod to 13cm long. Put nuts on one end of all four, and put through the holes at the bottom and all the way through the headstock. Tighten as much as possible. These bolts are very important. It's intended to keep the layers of the headstock from separating and ripping apart, which is the weakest point of the part. At this point, you can also put small wood screws into all the other holes you have pilot hold, just to keep stuff from moving around. With that done, take the tool wrist support rail and line it up between the other pieces. Pilot hole and screw it down. Next, we're going to assemble the headstock. First, put four bearings in, 10mm outer diameter and 5mm inner diameter. I was a big idiot and glued my headstock together, so I can't actually show it disassembled, but it's pretty simple in construction. Anyways, with those four bearings in, take a 90mm length of 5mm rod and insert it through the pulley and the four bearings. Put one spacer on the front and then the ER11 collet chuck, as far on the rod as it goes. Squeeze the pulley and collet chuck together and then drill a hole through this hole on the pulley with a 2mm bit to drill through the rod. Once this is done, you can insert an M2 20mm bolt. The other side of the pulley is 1mm so the bolt should screw in, but if you want to be safe you can just glue the bolt in. There isn't really any reason you should need to disassemble the headstock unless you're making a build video. Importantly, if you're using a belt like I am, you need to put it on before you assemble the headstock. Next, the tailstock. To begin with, cut three pieces of aluminium, at least 30 by 30 millimeter in size. Use the template piece and clamp the two pieces in the vise, and drill all holes with a 4 millimeter bit and two of the pieces. One piece does not need the center hole drilled. On the other two pieces, the center hole needs to be then enlarged to 6 millimeters. With those pieces made, get the tailstock piece to begin assembly. Put a 10mm outer diameter, 6mm inner diameter bearing in both sides of the tailstock. Next, take the three pieces of aluminium and screw four 3 16th bolts through the assembly. You should end up with something like this. The live centre for the tailstock is just a piece of 6mm rod that I turned a point on using a drill and a bench grinder. This is a nice trick to know if you don't already. You can easily put points on things using a drill and a bench grinder. 
Next, if you screw the back piece down, we need to take it off. Slide the tailstock assembly in place and take this opportunity to insert 2 to 3 27 centimeters 5 30 second rods through the tailstock and into the headstock. Put the back support on. Next, take a 9 cm length of 3 16 rod and a nut for it. Put the nut through this hole here and the rod in here. Fiddle around with it until the rod threads into the nut. Next, take this knob piece and glue a nut into it. If you don't have the right nut, you don't have to use the knob, but it is convenient. Screw that onto the 3 16 rod. This setup is what locks the tailstock in place. When tightening the knob, you need to hold the rod with pliers or similar, since if it is turning, then the clamping force isn't being applied. This setup is very important for the lathe to function properly. The tailstock will be unusably wobbly otherwise. Finally, the T-rest. Bolt a support piece onto both ends of the lathe, and lay a length of 6mm rod across the top of the supports. I got this piece from an old printer. Glue the rod in place. This setup is somewhat temporary. The channel underneath is intended for an adjustable tool rest, which I am yet to design at this point. With that done, the lathe is complete. I use a sewing machine motor to power mine, but how you power yours depends on what you can find. I'm going to make a Dremel version as well in the future, which should be more accessible and easy to make. To attach a workpiece, I just use a wood screw that I've cut the end off of, that I then put into the collet chuck. As a final note, for extra support when using the lathe, you can tighten a 3 16th rod through this hole to push it against the tailstock, providing more rigidity. Not as important as the clamp, but I would still highly recommend doing it. Anyways, with that done, so is the lathe. I have several videos showing it in use if that interests you. Thanks as always for watching, parts are in the description.